Well, hello and welcome back everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. I am back out in the kayak today and I'm doing some live bait fishing. I put up a poll on my YouTube community page and you all answered that you wanted to see some more live bait fishing. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. I just netted a whole mess of shrimp, like a lot, a lot of shrimp. This is a small one, but I got some really good ones in there. But anyway, without further ado, we're gonna get to fishing. It's uh, about an hour until low tide and I'm in a new stretch of water I've never fished before. So hopefully we can find some. Thank you all for watching and enjoy. And whenever I do get a good throw, it's directly on top of an oyster bar. So hopefully that wasn't the case here. Because I think I got some good shrimp in that one. Oh yeah. There we go. Look at all these. Not a lot of big guys, but they'll eat. Or sorry, get eaten. I'm not eating them. Wow. That was a good toss on some shrimp there. Look at those guys. Those are great size. Since I'm using shrimp, I'm going to switch to a split shot rig. Really, really looks nice in the current lets the shrimp sit nice and naturally and then you get to use a circle hook which is always good when using shrimp because uh such soft baits they can easily be stolen so here's my uh split shot rig tiny uh little one aught circle hook uh, i have smaller but i think that'll be a good size for the average shrimp i have this is a little bit of a small guy and then I'll just a little itty bitty split shot just enough to help it sink just let it slowly sink and watch my line. You can also get a sheep's head, <laughs> which is not the intention. Although I am fishing a spot that looks pretty sheep's heady. My goal is pretty much everything besides sheep's head. Red or black drum, trout, flounder even. I got bit right away. I think I've lost two shrimp to whatever's in there. It could just be a pinfish, might be a sheep's head, which in my experience are really hard to catch on shrimp. It's only fitting, the first fish of the day on the shrimp is a little puppy drum. Puppy drum absolutely love shrimp, as do their older brothers or their grandfathers or whatever you want to call the big ones. And that was just on a simple little uh, split shot rig here. Man. Oh, just got eaten. This feels like another little drum. Yeah, could be his little brother. Or twin brother, actually. There's another little guy. You can see the antenna sticking out of his mouth in there. Try one more, but if we just get another puppy drum, we'll keep moving. Not because I'm worried about running out of bait. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I have a very full live well in there and I'm actually just using pretty small shrimp right now. Mostly I'm just worried about time and wanna find some good fish. Not that I'm sticking my nose up at redfish, no matter the size. This is a better size shrimp right here. There we go, another little one. Another little drum. I 
cookie cutter. Fourth puppy drum in about 10 minutes. Keep moving. But glad to see the fish are active right now. And the split shot rig is proven, at least for now, with very light tide to be uh, effective enough, uh, enough weight to actually get the uh, rig down. So hopefully that continues to be the case. Shrimp is an excellent bait. People love to say that uh, everything that swims eats a shrimp. And while that is true, that's also a bad thing because all the bait stealers and everything like that can just as easily eat a shrimp as a uh, bull red could, and you won't really hook them. So you just keep giving your baits over to them for free. And uh, even when you do hook them, that's not something you really care about. So um, when you start getting your baits just ripped off, they'll do that all day. So if you find a spot that's covered up in bait stealers, it's best to just keep going. That's a long way of saying that uh, because of that fact that everything will just rip your bait off, I usually avoid using shrimp, but there's so much of it in the creeks and I haven't done a live bait video in a long time and as you all made clear you want to see one, decided let's try some shrimp. See if we can't get lucky and get a good fish in the mix of all the uh, smaller stuff we're liable to catch. There we are. Just as I suspected. So this is a good example of what one of the bait stealers might be. Pinfish, they'll just sit there and peck at it. Super, super annoying <laughs> and super prevalent all through the Carolinas, Florida, probably pretty much everywhere. Another little puppy drum. I know there's big dogs out here. Where are they? Let's see you, buddy. Let that sink down. And then moral of the story is watch the line. Another puppy drum, probably, from the feel of it. Yep. <laughs> Maybe another inch bigger. Pretty little guy. Thank you, buddy. So, step in the right direction, <laughs> at least. Pinfish. Keep moving, the pinfish caught up to us. Let that sink down. The stock looks amazing. I'd really be shocked if we didn't find some redfish on it. Ooh. Another little red. Probably right about 17 inches, maybe, if I'm generous. This is just a little tiny shrimp. I was digging a little bit, but nope. I'm just hammering the puppy drum today.
Another little red, I believe. Maybe a little better. Yeah, a little better. Oh man, very slightly better. Healthy little guy, definitely, well maybe not definitely, but probably the biggest one of the day. Now that the previous ones set the bar too high. But all right, maybe we're getting somewhere. Tide's starting to come up now. There's a dolphin directly behind me. Yep. <laughs> Things are uh, happening, although not everything being stuff we want to happen. Definitely hasn't been slow between the bait stealers and the puppy drum. I've had a lot of bites, that's for sure. Shrimp does not have a shortage of action. I'll say that. The real problem is, is when it's not this time of year where you can't hardly throw a net without getting two dozen shrimp, it uh, is an expensive bait to use, and you really have to use a lot of it on a trip to have a good day, in my experience, unless you get lucky. <laughs> not quite the size we would hope for, but got a flounder on the front. Puppy drum kind of day, I guess. Happy fish right now, though. So much bait in the creek still. They're just eating like there's no tomorrow. I'm surprised we haven't found any big ones yet. Sometimes you gotta pay your dues. Just keep catching little ones until you get lucky and the big ones show. Very uh, last shrimp. Oh, huh. little tiny black drum too. Last fish of the night. All right, so I just wanted to wrap this video up with a little brief talking to the camera, closing statements kind of situation. Unfortunately, in my experience, that whole live shrimp will catch anything that swims statement is very true. And uh, the reason that's a problem is it's really hard to target one specific species when you're using a bait that will catch absolutely anything. So, you know, you can go out with the goal of catching big redfish, but small redfish, croaker, pinfish, any number of species could bite. Um, and that was certainly the case on this trip. I did catch a lot of fish, but the average size of those redfish was anywhere from 14 to 16 inches. 
Uh, so very small, especially compared to some of the redfish I've been catching on recent trips using um, lures, even crabs. So I'm not saying live shrimp is a bad bait. I definitely think it'll catch you a lot of fish and it'll work pretty quickly. However, uh, I don't think it's very discerning. I do think it's expensive and I think you're gonna go through it very quickly in a trip, particularly if you have a whole bunch of fishermen with you. I think on this trip, just by myself, I went through anywhere from six to eight dozen and I caught way more bait stealers and I showed tons of panfish and croakers and all kinds of stuff like that, puffer fish even, but I didn't show those because that's not very exciting and I try to keep my videos pretty short and condensed and to the point. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I sincerely appreciate you tuning in, uh, especially after I took a bit of a hiatus there for a while, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time as well. Take care and remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.